Hi, I'm Lot from Aracop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a seed relief system for drones. We wanted to make a video showing a drone reforesting, throwing some seeds. And we wanted to make a very simple system. We think about 3D printing and how to make a funnel and a container in a simple and cheap way to manufacture. We thought that in something simple like a bottle, you have a container with a funnel. And then we just have to fly to certain altitude with a small triangle that will scatter the seeds. So we do not need any motor or extra battery, just attach it to a plastic bottle, open and close. We can load seeds in a bottle of 8 liters of water. When we talk about throwing seeds, we refer to pelleted seeds, seeds that already have a coverage that make them much more resistant to predators and rodents. You have it for free download, I will pass the link. You will also need a servo. I recommend the ES09MD of the Emax brand. The gears are metallic, so it's more difficult to break. It's a digital servo. If the signal coming from the flight board is noisy, it will filter this signal, and the servo will not move, so less impact in energy consumption. It can be connected to any flight board. We recommend, of course, Pixhawk, because it allows GPS flights. So let's go. This is all what you will need. A bottle should have a big bottleneck. There are bottles with a small bottleneck. We have also seeders for both large and small. But it's better a big bottleneck because it's going to allow you to put bigger seats. A flight board, a zip tie, a screwdriver, the world 3D printed system, five M3 16 mm screw, the Emacs servo, and we are going to need glue. This is worth or any other. We will place this piece on this one. It has two small sticks. We will place it here and in the hole. Okay, it's a simple system. Then we will have to place a nut. The screw already arrived to the other side. You do not have to force it. It should be a little bit free to easily open and close. And go to the next. It's a simple thing. Screw it with the hand. Wait until as passes to the other side and put the nut. When you place this piece, you have to look at this pivot here. It's not going here. It goes in this other hole. And the last one. Ready. Once the shutter is assembled, comes the part of placing the servo. We will place it here. So we will take the zip tie and we will go through the hole. The system also comes prepared to fix the servo with the screw that comes with the servos. This zip tie is a little small. It's recommended to be a little more robust. Once this is done, we only need to glue the adapter system that has the servo to the gear. We place first the adapter system, glue, and we put it here like this. To prove it, we can use the receiver of our drone, connecting the servo to one of the channels. Or use a servo tester like this one. Connect to any 5 volt source and it's powered. We could see how the system opens. What I was saying of the servo filtering, when it is not in movement, it does not make any noise. It's ideal for safe battery. I hope that you like the system. If you build one, please write a comment. See you in the next video. We will tell you how to connect this system to a Pixhawk controller. Thanks for watching.